Philippe Appelwag, I'm coming from Paris. I'm a graphic designer and I used to work for a while in America, in New York and also one year in Los Angeles. Uh, this exhibition is about uh, poster design and there's a series of almost 50 posters in this gallery. And most of them are connected because uh, they are, were designed with typography, with uh, signs and letters element. And some of them can be very expressive in terms that uh, I created uh, the font myself. Or some of them are a um, combination with photography and lettering. And the, the connection between all of them is that they were made for uh, cultural clients, meaning cultural institution, could be museums or literature festival, theaters. And they are large scale, as you can see. The, most of them are really huge. And for me, a poster needs to be in a big scale. It can't be like a, a small size. It has to be wide. That's the reason why I was so uh, insisting to bring the original prints uh, in this gallery and not a reproduction of the posters. Uh, all of them are six screens, so uh, the quality of printing is very important for me, and not only uh, the, the size, but also in terms of the, the colors and the, the palette that I'm choosing you know, for each of the, the posters. Uh, usually also there's a specific uh, theme to communicate because a poster is made to tell a message. It's not only a beautiful image, it's also an image that will translate something to the public. So those posters that you see on the world, they were originally in the streets and there's of course uh, an idea behind all of them because they are attached to uh, an events or uh, something that happened to, they are made to promote events and whatever. I mean, it could be, as I explained, a theater play or a literature festival or an exhibition. But uh, I'm trying, you know, to express an idea or concept only by using letters. And I think letters are like, um, drawings. It's uh, a way of using light and darkness. How to play with uh, shadows and light, the shape and the counter shapes. And there's meaning in letters. We have tendency to forget that letters can bring uh, messages and they are speaking for what they are. Uh, we think that letters are only uh, useful to set a text, but they have also a very interesting form uh, to use. And all those forms, the, the, the geometrical form that comes out from letters, this really inspired me, like probably I will do if I will be an architect, or perhaps the way I will do if I will do performing art. I like to use the poster like uh, a scene or space where uh, the letters can move. You sometimes have the feeling that there's a kind of frozen motion in many of those postures, you know. Uh, it's like to bring movement and motion in a two-dimensional prints, uh, something that obviously doesn't move, but uh, that movement for me is very important to bring in the design. Also, a strong feeling of uh, emotion. I think uh, letters can carry something connected with emotional uh, feeling. We have the tendency also to see letters very dry and they are not for me. They were never dry. They, were, they are lively, they are sensitive, and I'm trying to bring this to each poster, but I can speak for some of them if you want me to do it just to describe because it's hard to, to speak generally, so I don't know. Mm -hmm.